Hello, uh, here's the uh, next kid on the line. Uh, this is a Tamiya 148 scale uh, Panzer III uh, L. Um, Tamiya makes a range of these 148 scale tanks. Uh, this particular one is from 2006, so this is one of the slightly older moldings. Um, but here you can see some of the inf uh, information about it, uh, the paint schemes, a little bit of the details. And as such, it tells you that this comes with a die cast chassis to give it a little bit extra oomph, a little extra weight on it. Uh, in fact, if you feel the box itself in your hands, you feel that little bit of extra weight. I believe the uh, newer moldings of this uh, 148 uh, series, uh, they have the plastic tub um, with added weights inside uh, to give it that heft. Uh, it doesn't come with a die cast. But anyway, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so first off, these are the instructions they come with. Again, a little bit of information about it, typical with the Tamiya, tools that I recommend to use, and then you get into the instructions. Now, I did another Tamiya 148 scale, the Tiger, um, a while back, and it's a pretty straightforward build. It's a lot of steps, but it's a pretty straightforward build. So, if you are looking into getting to armor, and you're short on space, and you're looking for 148 scale kits, uh, take a look at the Tamiya 148 scale series. I think you'll be happy, and I think that's a good way to start in the uh, hobby. Alright, you got your painting, and you got your schemes. Uh, pretty straightforward there. Alright, so let's see what's actually here in the plastic. And again, as the other kits uh, that I've shown so far, I've opened up the bags. Now, to me, if you're new to modeling, there are bags that come stapled shut as opposed to sealed shut, uh, which is just fine. So you don't have to necessarily rip the bags open, just take off the staples. But be careful not to puncture your finger and start bleeding all over the place. Alright, so here we go. Here's the turret. Again, for an older kit, 12 years old. The uh, going on 13. The detail is pretty good. To me, it's known for pretty good details and easy to build. Another reason why I would recommend it to anybody starting off in the hobby as well. All right, next bag here is two sprues of the tracks. Let's take a look at one. Again, this has built-in sag, if you can see it. As you can see there, I'll mold it in on the tracks, the wheels, all nice little details. Next up, there's some of the uh, field tools, spare tracks. Uh, Get my hand in there. Okay. You got the field tools, hooks, jacks, and so forth. So, yeah, nice detail. And the last bag here, it's got the top of the hull. As you see. Details there. And the other exterior pieces. Uh, here are a couple of screws that comes in for some of the parts put together. Uh, you got your little grommets there for the uh, for the uh, wheels, uh, and this is the that uh, comes with the. Um, the uh, die cast bottle, which is glued onto in this little box protecting it. It's well protected in this plastic case. And here we go. And this is what it looks like. So, this is die cast. Again, the details may not be the same as what you get from a molded piece, but uh, you know, it's not bad. You know, you get the molded on or die cast on uh, wheel there. And you can hear it. Uh, the metal. You can see it's 2004 to me. This thing. All right. Uh, so that's what's in the box. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned. This will be a future build uh, later this year. Thank you.